In fact, the four still life pictures in this room were all exhibited in Fry's Grafton Group Show in 1913. And my argument is that they were a tremendous impetus for the British modernists at this point, who had not really taken still life painting that seriously. Like Weber, they were very interested in Cezanne, they also were interested in Matisse, but they hadn't understood that painting still life in involved or enabled them to uh, experiment in a very expressive ways with color and shape and form. And so I was very pleased to be able to get these pictures together and I th uh, you know, look at these, the ways in which this kind of pictorial experiment works um, in this way. And it's certainly something that interested Fry. When Fry wrote to Weber, he said that he thought that Weber's painting really expressed the way in which modernist painters should be thinking about this kind of experiment with form and color. And certainly that's one of the reasons why Fry wanted him in his exhibition. These are two portraits by the so-called Bloomsbury group. Um, Vanessa Bell, an absolutely wonderful portrait, uh, oil collage on paper, um, which is a portrait of Molly McCarthy. And although it may not be quite difficult to see unless you come to the exhibition and have a good look at it, it is in fact made up of lots of segments um, of painted paper, um, all painted in an extraordinary array of color and in different kinds of techniques. So it's an extremely experimental portrait and it shows Vanessa Bell experimenting with um, a cubist style. This is a portrait by Frederick Etchells, who at the time was very much part of Fry's Omega group, although he later joined the Vortices. And again, it's a very experimental portrait painted with this broken color technique, which is something which he uh, would have seen in some of Matisse's paintings and also in the paintings of the neo-impressionist painters. So two highly experimental portraits and showing just how uh, keen British artists at this point were interested in breaking the rules of conventional representation even when it came to painting a portrait. 